it is a good day to have a good day welcome back to my channel everyone today is monday morning and i am bringing to you my mindful and productive morning routine the first thing i always try to do is meditate for five to ten minutes as soon as i wake up when your alarm goes off in the morning it automatically rises your anxiety and stress levels I use meditation to release serotonin and endorphins into the body so I can start the day with a calm and positive mindset. So I've been getting into the habit of listening to a short podcast while I get ready in the morning. It wakes me up and gets me inspired and motivated for the day. I've been loving the Mindset Mentors podcast. While getting ready in the morning, I always, always, always try to say a few positive affirmations in the mirror. This might sound crazy, but I have seen a huge confidence boost in myself by doing this. Trust me, I know that you're gonna feel crazy looking at yourself in the mirror and talking to yourself, but once you do it routinely every single day, you start to believe the things you're saying. And this goes vice versa. If you're telling yourself negative things all day, like I'm so ugly, I'm so fat, that's what you're gonna start to believe and you're gonna continue to say it. But if you're telling yourself you're a badass and you're gonna win the day and so you're nice. beautiful and confident, you're gonna start believing those things too. It's whatever you put into your mind that is going to become reality. Good morning. So I just listened to a podcast by the Mindset Mentor, which is Rob Dial. I watch his podcast every morning actually i've been getting into the habit of watching his podcast because they're very motivational and inspirational today's podcast was about how you could wake up and have a good morning to set yourself up for success so a lot of the things he said i already knew and i already do in my morning routine but basically he was saying that the first thing you wanna do is start your day off with a win, which is by turning your alarm clock off the first time it goes off. So you should put your phone across your room, which I don't do this because I feel like it's okay not to put it across your room. I put it next to my bed, um, but I turn it off ho hopefully on the first um, alarm. And he was saying the second win should be to make your bed right away, which is something that I do every morning. And if I don't make my bed, I feel like horrible i'm not getting anything accomplished first thing in the morning and i love to get something accomplished first thing in the morning so i make my bed it makes me feel really clean and organized and it sets me up for a good day next he was saying start your day off with gratitude because whatever you focus your energy on is what is going to come more of so if you focus your energy on the positive obviously you're going to get more positive but if you focus your energy on the negative you're gonna just keep finding more negatives. And now he wasn't saying that you ignore the negatives because you never ignore the negative. It's always important to address that. But if you start your day with gratitude and you start your day on the right foot, then you can go into negative situations with a positive mindset. And this is something that I'm trying to work on right now, but I really liked this podcast and it really resonated with me. I resonate with it because I do a lot of those things. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is meditate, as you saw in the video. And then I get ready and I come back in here, make my bed right away. The next step is to go fill up my water and chug that shit. If you follow me on Instagram, I post a lot to a reminder to hydrate because your body is not being hydrated for like eight hours straight. and. Um, when you wake up in the morning, you're extremely dehydrated. So I would suggest, and just for your health, to drink a big glass of water. Next, we're gonna go fill up my water and then we're gonna do some journaling. So let's go. The affirmation I chose for today is, I make time for the things that I love. I like this one because I'm a very busy person and I think it's really important to make time for things outside of your busy life like journaling, yoga, meditation, whatever you like to do. This is just stuff I like to do, but I specifically make time outside of my um, classes to do those things. So I think this is a very fitting affirmation for today. Every day, I like to write out a to manifest list. I don't like to say to-do list because that puts a negative connotation in your brain and makes you dread the list. 
By saying to manifest, it helps you get things done in an easier manner because it simply just comes to you. If you're someone who has a really busy schedule, I suggest to write out your whole day to make sure you don't waste any time. Doing this has helped me manage my time much better. Why do I have so much energy at seven in the morning? I don't know. Also, in the morning, I do not go on social media at all. I don't really go on social media much during the day. I just feel like it's so toxic nowadays and I just like feel like it's not like letting me vibrate at my highest self. So I don't really use social media much. I only use it to um, like influence other people and post on my story. And sometimes I like, I look at like what my friends are posting, but like I don't scroll like for hours. Like I won't let myself scroll for more than five minutes at a time. Um, like sometimes I'll check up on things, but yeah, I don't use social media for the first two hours after waking up. During this time, I normally post like a good morning Instagram story because the sun is shining, it makes me happy, and I want to spread that positivity to others. Let's go do some yoga. Yoga with Adrienne is the best. I highly recommend her. For some reason, not because I dance eight hours a day, but my body always aches when I wake up and I found that yoga is the perfect way to make it feel better every morning. So I try to do around five to 10 minutes of yoga every day. I either do my own light morning stretch or I sometimes watch Yoga with Adrienne's morning flows, which are really nice and relaxing. And I also try to set an intention for the day while doing this. My morning routine has been pretty solid at this point. I've been doing this for like a month or so, and it really helps me stay focused for the day and stay motivated because I love doing these things every morning. Um, it's about 8.30 now and I'm literally starving, so I'm gonna go make some breakfast. I'm trying to think, should I make pancakes or French toast? Well, tomorrow I'm getting pancakes at IHOP, so let's see, do I want French toast? I'll figure it out. I really don't know. Honestly, yes. Wait. Yes, we're going to make French toast. While I make bre breakfast and make my lunch, I normally watch YouTube and kind of just like relax and chill and have a good morning at this point. It's 8.30 and I have to leave at 9.30. So I woke up a little early today just so I can get this video filmed. I normally wake up around two hours before I have to leave because I want to give myself enough time to not get my to-do list done, but have the relaxation of the morning and of the sunlight. Just have time to, to fully wake up and have a morning routine before I have to rush to dance. So... Yes, let it go make breakfast. As we said earlier, the affirmation of the day is making time for the things I love. For me, that definitely includes breakfast. Not only because it is my favorite meal of the day, but because it is the most important meal of the day. You are breaking the overnight fasting period. You are giving your body energy to start the day. If you don't like actual breakfast foods, I would suggest eating anything you want because it's better to eat something rather than nothing. Eating a big breakfast also lessens the chances of binge eating at night, which is okay once in a while, but not every Look night. Look how good this looks. I've been loving eating fruit along with my breakfast because it gives your body that natural boost of energy in the morning. Fruit is kind of like my coffee, sad to say, but it definitely gives me the energy coffee would. After eating breakfast, I normally talk to my boyfriend, say good morning to him, 
see what he's doing for the day, and then I head off to dance. So that is my morning routine. Make sure to subscribe, like, and turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I upload a new video every Saturday at 4 p.m. And with having all that said, have a good day. Bye.